happy with the win. We'll take it. Uh, but, you know, when we're um, excited about our performance, when we're happy with our performance, um, you know, I didn't think we uh, – we played with the, I didn't think we played with the intensity level that you need to play with for the first time all year long. I didn't think we did it. Um, obviously, uh, I think that's a product of the 24 turnovers a little bit. And there's a lot of reasons we had 24 turnovers. And I don't know if we have enough time to go over them all. But, um, you know, we just uh, throwing balls to people who are open. They're just not, they're not looking for it. So you can't throw it if they're not open. We're throwing it to guys who in certain positions they can't catch it even if they're looking they're putting them in bad spots we're forcing plays at times um but you know we that 24 is obviously an extreme we, and we've uh, we've been leading the league in a such a turnover margin um i'm sure that'll change uh after tonight very quickly so um i wouldn't i didn't think our defense was um where it needed to be um for 40 minutes uh the one positive was we rebounded the basketball um you know, I think they made a pointed effort, though, to make sure they got back in defensive transition. Um, first half, we shot the ball well, but didn't reward ourselves because we turned it over too much. Should have had a much, you know, I thought we should have had a, uh, expanded the lead a little bit more if we'd taken care of the basketball. But uh, um, happy we won, but, uh, you know, not overly pleased with the performance. You seem to get your message across to LB because he came out with the intensity from the get-go. and. Seem to be attacking. Yeah, I like the I like the, the level intensity. I like the his gear he played in. As I called, I thought it was better. Um, you know, I thought he scored the ball the way I would like for him to score the ball a little bit more. Obviously, too many turnovers. Um, we, you know, he had a couple charges that we put him in a couple bad spots a couple times. Uh, but uh, yeah, his his uh, his play was better. Yeah, better. Is that what you've been looking for in terms of rebounding? Oh yeah, well yeah. I mean, we would love to do that, um, but you know, uh, you know, really though, Kelly, it, it, we we actually did do some things we've worked on the last two days. So I was, you know, they, I don't think they went to the glass real hard, really. You know, it's a little, but we did do some things. We we spent a lot of time, a lot of time the last two days and today. I spent a lot of time to shoot around, did stuff I normally don't film work on rebound and things like that. That I did see we got back to. I'm really anxious to watch this film and just see all the turnovers and see really did we rebound that well or uh, I'm anxious to see that but yeah I, I, I liked and I, and I think you might agree I, I think we were a little more aggressive on the glass even though they were going I think we really were a little more um, aware of hey you know we need to go after this thing so so was LeBron a little more aggressive too yeah I think he was I think you know I would have expected it uh, yeah I think he was I mean um He's had two back-to-back -back good practices. He really has. The past two days have been pretty good for him, or two days before Monday and Tuesday. Um, but yeah, he, 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 you know, he affected the game tonight. He did some things to affect the game. Uh, I thought, uh, again, it's hard to really see, but I thought defensively he did a pretty good job. He got six rebounds, uh, which is good. Obviously, turnovers, you can pick, you know, you know I wasn't happy with anybody on that. But uh, yeah, yeah, he played better, played better. You mentioned how he's trying to stay off Twitter to avoid Oh, I think it's very good. He's, you know, doesn't have a choice, but yeah. Looking forward to Saturday for a second. What do you expect from Bethel down in Norman? Oh, it'll be, you know, they're, you know, Oklahoma's playing great basketball right now, really good basketball. They're very much a veteran team, but they're playing some young kids as well. But got, uh, you know, uh, some guys that have been through this before and, um, you know, they're, they're playing just really good basketball. Already got a nice road win under their belt. They got all week, um, you know, want to have those guys ready to go. So, you know, uh, needless to say, we're going to have to play much better and have a much better performance and approach than we did today uh, from our basketball team. Um, you know, it's always a, 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 an exciting rivalry and tough game. And, um, you know, we, uh, we got a lot to prepare for in the next two days and uh, as well as learn from tonight. So we got a lot to do, a lot to do in the next couple of days. For your young guys that haven't experienced it, do you tell them anything different? Do you try to explain to them what it's going to be? No, not kind of really, them? not really. No, no, you know, we just need to prepare. You know, uh, they, they'll, they learn about it on their own. Um, um, you know, it, it is a special rivalry. It's a great rivalry. Uh, but um, um, we've got a lot to absorb in the next two days. So, um, you know, um, I should not have to spend a whole lot of time doing that.
Seems like Michael's played well in that role off the bench. Yeah, you know, know how much longer he'll be on the bench, but yeah, he's playing well. He's playing. He's getting back. I probably had the best practice of the of the year for him yesterday. Um, you know, uh, I, you know, I had individual meetings with every player yesterday before practice, and uh, he really responded to some of the things I had to say to him. And um, uh, we're looking for that on a more consistent basis. That's the key for any success is consistency from Cobbins or Nash or whoever it is. Um, you know, doing it on a consistent basis defines success or defines greatness or whatever, you know. Um, you know, so that's what we're looking for. Going into Norman, you've had games at Kansas State, Virginia Tech, which should have you more than prepared for that. Yeah, you know, I think so. We've had some good road games, some played in some good environments, and it'll, it'll be a good environment. I'm, I'm expecting one on Saturday, so, um, you know, I, I, I hope that you know, I don't think that uh, you know that uh, that part we won't spend much time. You know, we we have played in some tough environments, so hopefully they'll be ready for that. Everybody good? All right, thanks, guys. Thank you.